क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पेपर वन वेरियंट टू जून टू थाउजेंड टेन सॉल थ्री अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टू नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो वी राइट सोल्यूशन एंड इट इज थ्री अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टू यू मे शिप एक्स माइनस वन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड इट बिकम डिनोमिनेटर टू लिमिनेटर सो इट कैन रिटर्न एस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू ब्रैकेट एक्स माइनस वन We insert the bracket because two must multiply with the both term. Further, it can be written as three is equal to. Now we have to open the bracket by multiplying two all the term inside the bracket. So two multiplied by x become two x, and the plus minus minus two ones are two. Further, it can be written as three plus two is equal to two x. These two move right to left. So we have to. Keep x at one side and the constant at other side. So three plus two become five is equal to two x. Further, it can be written as five upon two is equal to x. Two is multiplying with x when it goes across the side of equal to. It come in denominator. It is in numerator and it is in denominator after coming across the side of equal to. Further, it can be written as x is equal to. 5 upon 2, or it can be written as 2 whole 1 upon 2, because when we divide 5 by 2, it becomes 2 to the 4, remaining is 1. So it is 2 whole. This is 2 whole, and it is 1 upon 2. So answer is 2 whole 1 upon 2, or 2.5. Both are correct. Move to part B, and it is given that P is equal to 2t minus r x plus t in terms of P and r. Actually, the subject is P right now. P is equal to 2t minus r, and we have to express t. We have to make t the subject of formula. So it can be written as P plus r is equal to 2t. Or we may write p plus r upon 2 is equal to t. Now the t is the formula, or we usually write the subject of the formula as the left side and the r term r at the right side. So it can be written as t is equal to p plus r upon 2. Or we may write is answer as p plus r upon 2. So t is equal to p plus r upon 2 is the correct answer. Quite easy question. Is still there any problem? You may write in comment. I will reply you shortly.